Hi, this is Kate from Isalicious Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make my little 3D snowflake charm. Um, this is perfect to hang if you use a piece of um, thread of some sort to hang as an ornament on your Christmas tree. So uh, this is what we're going to be making today. You can make it with just your hook or you can actually use a loom as well but I'm going to show you how to do um, both. So what we're going to do, we're going to need um, different colours we're going to need. I'm using a, a sparkly blue. This is the Rainbow Loom Sparkly Blue. And you can also use a glitter white or I think even uh, the metallic white would look lovely. Um, it's completely up to you um, which colours you, you want to use. So this one I use just the normal white. I think I might try the glitter white for the tutorial. So let's get started. As you can see we have one two, three, four, five and six with the blue tip and then we have four that are smaller with no blue tip. So we'll start by doing our six with the blue tip. You're going to take a single blue band, wrap it round your hook once and twice and you'll slide that onto a pair of blue and reclaim. Okay. Then we're going to slide onto a pair, and I'm, as I said, I'm using the glitter white. So you'll slide onto a pair of the glitter white. Now, you're not going to reclaim, okay? We're just going to leave one side off. Keep this bit pushed up to the, close to your hook so you don't lose those. You're going to take another pair of glitter white, put it on the end of your hook, and move these two over and reclaim and this is similar to how we do the ruffle the frill on the bottom of the standing skirt for the angel and the bride reclaim that band and take another two and pop them over for that side okay I'm not sure if you can see very well like that and reclaim and now we take another pair and we're going to put all of those loops onto that pair like this and then because they're going to be longer than the others we're going to use another pair and slide on like that. Now you're going to need these to be on a holding hook because as I said we need to make six of them so we've made one we need to make another five um, I don't know if any of you have ever used a latch hook, but they're really handy. They have this little latch here that uh, allows you to slide things over. So what I'm going to do, if you, if you can find these at your local craft shop, I'm going to pop this on the latch hook. Okay. So what happens is you slide things onto it, and then when you want to slide them all off, this bit comes down and it slides over and you've trapped your other bands in here. But I'll show you how to use this because it's actually quite a quite a nifty little tool. So I'm going to use that as my holding hook. Let's make five more of these. Wrap once and twice. Slide on and reclaim. And then we will take our first pair of, of glitter white and we're not going to reclaim. Our second pair, we're going to push that side over and reclaim for that side and then grab those other two that we had left sitting there put them back on our hook and use another pair of glitter white and reclaim so you can see that you've got each side of that band there has its own pair okay and then we'll take another pair of glitter white slide all of those bands on and then to make it longer than the other four that we're doing, we'll take another pair and slide on like that. As I mentioned, you can use anything as your holding hook. It doesn't have to be a latch hook. I just thought I'd show you how to use a latch hook. It's quite handy to know. Okay. Use a pencil as a holding hook, anything really. Do number three. 
slide on but do not reclaim put the double band on that side and reclaim for this side and we'll do another double band on this side move them all over And do an extra one like that and we'll put that on our latch hook holding hook hook pencil chopstick <laughs> now if you wanted to do the these on the loom what you have to do and I'm going to put my loom in the standard configuration we have three more to make you do it backwards you end with that as your end cap. So you would start by putting two, two um, clear glitter and then a, another two because you've got one and two and then you have these ones either side. So you have one pair that will go here and one pair that will go here. And they link up to a single pair all right, and then you have the pair of blue, and then you have the end cap. Wrap it around your hook three times or twice, pop that on. So when you loop this up, you've got one, two, three, four, and a pair of uh, four of the glitter white, another one pair over here, and then one blue. Dig down past the end cap, grab the blue, and you loop up. Okay, now if you look here, We've got these on either side. So this one, this glitter white, is going to loop over here so that you have this pair going on one side and this pair going on the other side. Then you take this off your loom and replace it on top here. And then as you loop this bit up, those two are captured and it's more or less the same as if you were doing it hook only. Take it off your loom and when you stretch it into shape you can see that it's exactly the same. Alright, so we've got four, we need to do two more. So let's do that again. One, two, three, oopsie, four, we have a pair, now do you remember where we put the pair, I think it's here isn't it, there we go, we have a pair, oh, get off me, of blue and an end cap, so it's completely up to you whether you want to do it on the hook or if you want to do it off the hook, I'm going to do the next one down here, one, two, three, four, pair of blue, other pair of white that we have here, we need to have an end cap, so we'll loop these up, dig down past the end cap and loop up. This one loops to the side, loop up, loop up, take off the loom and replace on top of its corresponding peg on the other side, loop up, loop up. I don't know which is easier, uh, I find both methods equally easy, it's really your own preference whether you want to use your loom or just your hook. Sometimes I'll go and be watching Izzy do her jiu-jitsu and I'll just take my hook and some bands with me. I won't take my loom as it, it's, I've only got a small amount of space. So uh, I just take a, a hook and some bands and fiddle around. Let's take this one off. Spread it out. So there's our six. Okay. Now we need to make 
Let's get my twine out of the way. These little ones, and as you can see, it's an end cap, a pair, pair either side, and one. You start with your end cap, wrap once and twice. You will take a pair and slide on. Now, at this stage, this is where we're going to split it immediately. So take another pair, you're not reclaiming. Slide on and reclaim that side. So you've got it like that. And then reclaim this side. Take another pair, slide on like that. Okay, and then one more pair. If I can get them on the end of my hook. <laughs> and is that long enough? I think so. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, that's good. We'll do one more little one on our hook. Wrap once and twice. A pair, and you're not going to reclaim. Okay, take another pair. Oops, there we go. Slide this one over for the first side. And then reclaim that other side. And then you're going to put a pair on that side. Like that. Sorry, I've got that first one still on my hook. Take another pair and let's slide these over onto this final pair. Like so. Okay, so those are our two minis. If we were doing them on the loom, you start backwards. So we have a pair, two, three, and we'll do another one under here. One, two, three, and a pair the, in the middle here. Then we need end caps, single band wrapped twice around your hook. And then as we loom these up, you push your hook down past that end cap, grab the two bottom bands and directly to the side here. And then loop these ones up, these ones up, take this off and replace on top of the ones on the, or the corresponding side. Let's dig down here, find these two. Straight to the side, up, up, take this off the loom, replace next to it, and continue up. Alright, so these are the other two. So you can do them, as I said, on the loom or on your hook. It really, really doesn't matter. Now, what we're going to do next. In order to make, this is the, the, the main ring, forget that we have this one coming out in the middle here. This is the main ring, so it's got to be a blue, white, blue, white, blue, white, blue, white. So, so what I'm going to do, take all of these off your holding hook. They're not going to go anywhere. And what we're going to do is we're going to put them in order. So I'm going to start by having a white pair and a blue pair and a white pair and a blue pair and a white pair and a blue pair my last white pair Okay, and I will finish with a blue pair because I only want two blue pair left Okay, to go through the centre. So there's my blue pair. Now, if you've just put those on order on a normal hook, that's absolutely fine. It doesn't really matter. But if you're using a latch hook, and this is where this comes in handy, if you 
open the latch, put your two bands here and close the latch. Keep your finger on here and you slide these over. And your this little band here is safe, it's not going to come out of that latch because as you're moving these over it's keeping the latch shut. So it's a safer way to uh, slide these little pieces over. At the end you're going to pop the other side on your hook. This is just like how we do the tutus and how we made the ruffle at the bottom of the standing skirt as I mentioned. You're going to take one this side here over like that so you just have the two loops on here and these two loops are going to be splayed out and you will pop your closest blue one through it like that way okay just like that and that is going to once you pretty it up a bit make it all even like this let's put that down so so I mean you can just leave it like that I mean that's a lovely star isn't it however if you want it 3D what you're going to do so there's our little star get another two bands and you're going to put these two on your holding hook okay so you've got these now and I shouldn't have said that actually keep one off <laughs> you're going to poke your hook you've got one on your hook poke your other through the center here and pop the other one on there so you've got them both sitting on your hook either side I'm using two bands because it's an insurance policy really in case one breaks I'm popping my two bands on I'm going to slide this one over let's try that again this time without getting one stuck there we go so I've got that one on here like that I'm going to drag my hook through the center of my I've still got this on my finger and I'm going to pop these two on okay so they're on the band like that suspended I'm now keeping these two on my hook pushing back through that center hole I'm going to make sure I'm not coming through that uh, band so through the center hole I'm going to grab the end of those two bands and pull them back through okay and then I will take the two bands closest to me up and over I will splay these tie off bands that are left on my hook open and pop that uh, blue piece through and then again you pretty this up now you can see one slightly longer than the other I'm going to pull this through so that it's equal stretch these out so that they are not uh, tangled on each other and there you have your 3D star now all you're going to do to actually uh, have it so that you can hang it on something is take a piece of twine you can use um, that very fine clear twine as well so that it's sort of like invisible a piece of gold twine pick which side is going to be the top poke your hook through that top end cap and all you're going to do is put your twine on like that move the bands over thread it through and make it tie a knot here make it the right height that you want to hang from your Christmas tree like that I really hope you enjoy making it I think it's rather pretty take care bye bye